Top 10 Richest Women in the United States If you are new here don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Number 10, Nancy Walton Laurie. Net worth, $8 billion. Nancy Walton Laurie was born in 1951, she is an American heir to the Walmart fortune. She is also a businesswoman and a philanthropist. She inherited a stake in Walmart from her father, Bud Walton, who helped his brother, Sam, build the retail giant. When Bud died in 1995, Walton Lorry and her sister, and Walton Kroenke, received enough Walmart stock to make them both billionaires. Walton Lorry and her husband, Bill, also own Missouri's Providence Bank, several homes, and two yachts. They gave $10 million in 2013 to the University of Memphis, their alma mater. Walton Lorry became interested in dance when her daughter was a teenager and sits on the board of trustees at Juilliard. Number 9, Diane Hendricks. Net worth, $8 billion. Diane Hendricks chairs ABC Supply, one of the largest wholesale distributors of roofing, siding, and windows in America. Hendricks co-founded the business with her late husband in 1982. She has run it since his death in 2007. She led ABC to make the two biggest acquisitions in its history, buying rival Bradco in 2010 and building materials distributor LNW Supply in 2016. The company has 780 branch locations and over $11 billion in sales. Hendricks sold custom homes for a builder before meeting Ken, a roofer. She has spent millions on local economic development, rebuilding entire blocks in Beloit and bringing in several new businesses to the state. Number 8, and Walton Kroenke. Net worth, $9 billion. And Walton Kroenke is the daughter of Bud Walton, who helped his brother, Sam, build Walmart into a retail giant. She inherited part of Bud's stake in the retailer when he died in 1995. A registered nurse, Walton Kroenke is not involved in Walmart as a board member or an executive. Her husband is billionaire real estate mogul Stan Kroenke. Number 7, Blair Perry O'Keaton. Net worth, $9.4 billion. Blair Perry O'Keaton inherited a 25% stake in Cox Enterprises in 2007, when her mother, Barbara Cox Anthony, passed away. Cox Enterprises is a multi-billion dollar automotive and media company based in Atlanta. It owns cable TV firm Cox Communications. Blair's brother, Jim Kennedy, is the company's chairman. Her grandfather, James M. Cox, founded the company in 1898, with the purchase of Dayton's Evening News newspaper. Number 6, Laureen Powell Jobs. Net worth, $19.5 billion. Laureen Powell Jobs inherited billions of dollars of stock in Apple and Disney from her late husband, Apple co-founder Steve Jobs. In 2017, she bought a minority stake in the parent of the NBA's Washington Wizards and the NHL's Washington Capitals. She's also purchased stakes in several media outlets, including a majority of the Atlantic magazine and all of California Sunday and Pop-Up magazine. She has been putting her fortune to work through Emerson Collective, a hybrid investment, social impact and philanthropic firm she founded in 2004. She launched the Emerson Collective Foundation during the second half of 2016 with a gift of $1.2 billion, much of it in Disney shares. Number 5, Abigail Johnson. Net worth, $20.9 billion. Abigail Johnson has served as CEO of Fidelity Investments since 2014, when she took over for her father, and has been chairman since 2016. Her grandfather, Edward Johnson II, founded the Boston-based mutual fund giant in 1946. She owns an estimated 24.5% stake of the firm, which has $3.8 trillion in managed assets. Johnson has embraced cryptocurrencies and, in 2018, Fidelity launched a platform that allows institutional investors to trade Bitcoin and Ethereum. She worked summers at Fidelity through college and joined full-time as an analyst in 1988 after receiving a Harvard MBA. Number 4, Jacqueline Mars. Net worth, $31.3 billion. Jacqueline Mars owns an estimated one-third of Mars, the world's largest candy maker, 
founded by her grandfather. She worked for the company for nearly 20 years and served on the board until 2016. Her son Stephen Badger is on Mars Board of Directors. A well-known philanthropist, she serves on six boards including at the Smithsonian and the National Archives. Her brother John owns an estimated third of Mars, her late brother Forrest Jr. and four daughters own the rest. In June 2020, Mars announced it would rebrand Uncle Ben's rice to Ben's original. Number 3, Julia Koch. Net worth, $46.4 billion. Julia Koch and her three children inherited a 42% stake in Koch Industries from her husband, David, who died in August 2019 at age 79. An Iowa native, Koch moved to New York City in the 1980s and worked as an assistant to fashion designer Adolfo. She worked with many of his high-profile clients, including First Lady Nancy Reagan. Julia met David via a blind date in 1991, they ran into each other again six months later, began dating and got married in 1996. With her husband, she has donated $10 million to Mount Sinai Medical Center and $10 million to Stanford's Children's Hospital to study food allergies. Number 2, Mackenzie Scott. Net worth, $57.1 billion. Mackenzie Scott is an author and the ex-wife of Amazon founder Jeff Bezos, to whom she was married for 25 years. They divorced in mid-2019. As part of the divorce settlement, Jeff transferred 25% of his Amazon stake to Mackenzie, which was 4% of the company. In May 2019, shortly after she announced the terms of the divorce on Twitter, she signed the giving pledge. Mackenzie and Jeff met in 1992 when they both worked at hedge fund D.E. Shaw. They married the next year and moved to Seattle in 1994. Scott, who has published two novels, was a student of author Toni Morrison at Princeton and worked as a research assistant for her. In late July 2020, she announced she'd given nearly $1.7 billion to 119 nonprofit groups and that she changed her last name from Bezos to Scott. Number 1, Alice Walton. Net worth, $66.1 billion. Alice Walton is the only daughter of Walmart founder Sam Walton. She has focused on curating art, rather than working for Walmart like her siblings, Rob and Jim. In 2011, she opened the Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art in her hometown of Bentonville, Arkansas. Crystal Bridges features works from the likes of Andy Warhol, Norman Rockwell, and Mark Rothko. In January 2020, she took aim at America's broken healthcare system and unveiled plans to open a holistic health institute in Bentonville.